my friend. It is comforting to know that we are just one thought from joy. All that is going on is simply our interpretation that is going on in our head. If we are not experiencing joy, know that it's only because of our blind thoughts that hinges us from it. Back in Christ's time, the word sin was taken from an archery term that simply meant off target. The only sin is when we are thinking off target, causing us to feel bad, which tells us that we are not thinking about our lives in this subject as God is. Start thinking that you are on top of the world, and you will be. When you get out of bed each morning, say to yourself, I love getting out of bed on the right side. We each have instantaneous power to change the perceptions we have about ourselves and the world that consequently will make us feel good. When we feel good, we know we are on God's side. We know that we are allowing all the resources of the universe to come calling on our behalf. When we feel bad, think back to this encouragement and recall that your off-target perception can be changed in just one thought. Right now, ask to start feeling better and you will feel the profound power you have as you ask and then are answered. We all are literally only ever just a thought away from allowing ourselves to possess new beliefs, new thoughts, and feelings that will fill us with unspeakable joy, profound happiness, and a complete sense of well-being. I come today to tell you that in the immediate future, all of your dreams shall come true. As you believe this, you are now going through psychological and physical changes that are more than you can comprehend. You are now becoming elated, confident, relieved, excited, happy, and oh, so much more. You shall now breathe through this day with nothing unwanted phasing you, for you are indomitable, unstoppable, and walking on air. So tell yourself, all of my dreams shall now manifest, and you hold the key. The world is your oyster, and you have been given the think as you choose, and to therefore create just one next thought to your joy. Love, Dr. Hank.